challenging me to push in Walmart. The job. So when you start working, working woman, working woman, she a working woman, get paid, give mama some of the money. No, I'm just <laughs> Absolutely raving. And yes, I'm back. Back with the crazy hair. The hair is out. I just combed it out. If you're new here, I appreciate you for being here. This is me. This is how I'm taking it back to the basics, how I started off. <laughs> but I'm doing my hair right now. I'm giving it some love. As you read in the title, giving my hair some much needed love. So today I am going to try out this Indian clay thing. I've been seeing my daughter use it. I've seen a couple other ladies use it. So I said, let me see if I can use it. Since it's for, you know, love. This is a nice size bottle, as you can see here. Ooh la la, yes. So, it is Aztec Secret. I hope I'm saying that right. Health and Beauty, Indian Healing Clay. And I, you know what? What helped me inspire this? Like, I, real talk, I seen a lot of people doing it on, on this type of Indian clay here. Um, They're doing it, their hair and seeing how the results are, how it makes it feel and stuff. But you know what? It's a really good video about um like how back in africa they use like certain clays and they use healing stuff and um they use a lot of uh different uh nourishment from the ground with like seeds and protein and just vitamins for your hair um naturally like actually from the earth natural vitamins that you berries and fruits and they put it in this mud and they put it on a hair they put it on a brace they braid their hair up and the hair are so long down their back or they're so luscious and beautiful and they leave it up for months and then they come back and they pay somebody in to do it or they do it themselves so that's really why i want to try it not because i'm really trying to follow but i i mean it everybody does but I really feel like that's, that video right there made me, like, inspired to say, let me see. Because I'm, I'm all about giving healthy, you know, natural ways of self-healing my hair. As you can see, our section is off already, so it looks cray-cray. I'm okay with cray-cray because I know what I'm doing. Um, I already got a couple of samples, so I took, like, maybe three scoops of this. And I have it in a bowl here just to show you. And I am actually trying to mix it up as much as I possibly can. It might not come all the way, you know, down, but that's okay. Like all the way blended, mixed. But as long as there's no more powder substance, I'm fine with that. I am going to like take layers of my hair and just put it in there. Um, my hair is actually dry. Um, all I did was like comb it out, picked it out, used my um, wig brush and just kind of combed out the poof. And I sectioned it off because I have, my hair is really thick. Like you see my hair is dry. You see it like it looks soft and curly. It's thick. Okay. It tangles. So I have to comb it out, especially after having braids. That's like the most important thing before you wash your hair, before you condition, before you do anything, make sure you comb your hair thoroughly because if you get in that water without combing it it's gonna like that it's gonna suck up and just draw up and be a whole night and you'll be combing it crying trying to blow dry it and it'll be too tangled and you're gonna have a, a, a um sore head in the morning okay so i like i said i'm just stirring this up still and putting it together 
I'm going to put it in my section. I'm going to come back once I, you know, or I'll show you how I started off. And, um, or I'll just come back. Because I don't want to make this video long. I just want to show y'all. Um, I'm getting ready to take a shower. A much needed shower. And then I will be, you know, showing you how my hair is and how it turned out. So, if you are new here, thank you for coming here. Thank you for watching this video. Please feel free to subscribe because I have a whole bunch of these type of videos. I have more coming. And I'm just happy to have you. And if you are already existing here, hey, how you doing? I'm so glad you're here. No, just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding. I will be back once I have like half a head done and I'll show you how I'm putting it in there. And then I'm going to put a cap on and take a shower and I'll be back. See you when I get there. Bye. See you in a minute. Okay. So, I told you I was coming back. It took me about 45 minutes to put it through all my hair thoroughly. And all of this has, like, been sitting for a more majority of the time. All of this is new. I'm going to go back and put more in there and just clear up the rest of this. But this is a piece that I left so I can show you how I was doing it so I just part and excuse like this background I'm, because I'm actually going to take a shower for real and I just clean my tub so I just left it there even though I should pull it down but um I gotta finish cleaning the tub and then I'm getting in it and then I'll pull it down so if you just understand what I'm going through <laughs> <laughs> show you that I do clean my tub uh, since we hid the bathroom so you see how I just take like little small sections because my hair is thick now if your hair is thinner you can do big chunks because it will go th through thoroughly um, and I'm just like using my fingers people are using brushes or you know little little things um, you can use those too but I'm going to use my fingers and put it through my head okay so and you see how curly that is that's just because i had the braids hopefully it come draw back and be all curly and pretty i'm not leaving this puff like this i'm gonna make sure i just wanted to get through the the roots first so i got like a little bit left in here you see my fingers <laughs> got a little bit left in there so i'm just gonna um you know make sure I get the rest of the, the ends so I can slather it up and then I'm gonna put the plastic bag on show y'all that me putting a plastic bag on the roots you know I can get to them I can take them apart and make sure they all even I'm just trying to use the last bit of this and you know with my hair being so puffy and thick I'm gonna get to these ends now and then I'll put my plastic bag on and I'm going to let it sit for, I'm going to let it sit for like 15 more minutes because it's already been sitting on this side. I'm just going to give this side a little time. Right now it feel, if you ask me like, how does it feel? It feel okay. It's kind of tingly in certain sections. So we'll see how it is once I wash it out just to see, you know, if this work and what's my, you know, the results. If my hair feel a little bit more nurtured. Um, then I have like some, you know, I'm going to do a deep condition. I'm going to um, thoroughly wash it again. And I'll be done. And I'll be ready to blow dry and all the rest of the stuff. But, well, I'm not going to blow dry. I'll probably just leave it curly. As curly as I can. I got this thing. It got flaxseed in it and everything. This little pack right here look good. Make my hair supposed to make it curly. So I'll try to see the results of just how this mud mask does for my hair. And then I'll try that once it's all done. But I'm gonna show y'all how it does for my hair. Then you probably come catch my lap or something and see my hair actually curly. So I'm gonna finish this. I'm not gonna keep y'all long. I'll show you the results and then I'll be done. So thank you. I'll see you in a minute. And here we are. This is where I came. I decondition my hair. I quashed it out. So I'm going to unveil it. I looked at it a little bit. I took 
sneak peek, y'all. And then I add some more stuff. Well, more just deep conditioner. Let me show you deep conditioner I use, too. Just so I don't leave y'all in the dark. And I like it. It smells really good. It's like roasted coconut cream. I use it in a pack. If you ever heard any of my, my last videos where I wash my hair, I use packs because I have baby kids, okay? I can buy a whole six, seven dollar bottle and that stuff sucker be turned down and it'll be just this much left. So I can't afford to buy that stuff and then they go down the drain because kids want to use it as bubbles and they water. So <laughs> I use packs because they don't buy the packs. They don't look at the packs. It's, it's irrelevant to them. So I use packs. So this is my pack. It was only $2 at the beauty supply place. And it is roasted almonds. It um, is black Jamaican castor oil. It has hydrates, moisturized growth, nourishment, softens the hair, shea butter almond, avocado, uh, almond. The list goes on. So, I put it in my hair. And I applied it i put the thing on i have it on for like an hour i was not trying to put heat on my head because i just want curls and keep it natural i was thinking about flat ironing it but i ain't ready for that yet i just want curls i want my hair curly i missed it i love it i like when it's big but i want it curly because i just want it curly so let's unveil oh you see the curls popping out Ooh, child Yes. See, now I get the full look because I'm with y'all and y'all looking with me. Yes, girl. Yes. And anybody who ever questioned like, oh my God, her hair is cute. It's big, but it's like short. Girl, <laughs> strunkage is real, okay? This is my hair. A little bit longer than this. Some of it is dead ends that need to be cut, but my hair is not short. I like it like this though. I like it where I get this like Halle Berry, Jada Pinkett, old 90s. I don't know if that's them. Somebody, name somebody in, a, in, in my um comments who got the short hair look that y'all like. Because um, I don't know who it is. I, I, I always liked it. Halle Berry, Nia Long, Jada Pinkett, all of them beautiful women. With the short pixie cuts. Um, could not have the confidence to do it. So maybe that's why I like them so much. But yeah, I love how these curls hang out. 